Hey everyone, Mike here and in this video I'm going to tell you a few simple methods to increase the battery life on your iPad Air. As you might know already, Apple put a smaller battery on their latest tablet than they had on the iPad 4, but the entire thing is more efficient now, that's why it is still advertised to last around 10 hours on a charge in everyday use. By following these few tips though, you should get more out of it. Ok, the first thing you need to know is that the screen and the radios are overall the biggest consumers in the iPad Air. That's why you should always adjust the screen's brightness based on the overall environment. After all, there's no point in keeping it too bright when not needed and it's bad for your eyes as well. Also, I noticed that turning off automatic brightness can help prolong the battery life as long as you're constantly tweaking the brightness manually if needed. If you don't want to do that, just keep it on auto. As for the radios, iPhone 1 turned off Bluetooth location services and airdrop the minute I got the iPad Air. If I were to ever need those, I can activate them and then turn them off again. I keep the Wi-Fi connection active most of the time, but if you don't need it, disable it as well. Also, the cellular modem within the 4G enabled versions of the iPad Air are massive consumers, so again, only activate 4G data when required if you want to save the battery life. Besides this, there are a few other things you could do. For instance, if you're watching movies or listening to music, turning the volume down or even better using a pair of headphones will help squeeze more life out of the iPad Air. Also, using a static wallpaper and disabling the fancy effects like parallax will help as well. You should also make sure the screen's auto lock time is set to minimum. And you should also adjust the fetch rate of your emails and other services. Last but not least, you have to know that your iPad is going to run out of battery faster when using it in extreme temperature conditions. So adjust your expectations if you happen to use it in a desert or on a slope. Anyway, that's about it for now. These simple tips should help you squeeze the most out of your iPad Air. Let me know if you find them useful and if by any chance you know any other tricks that help and actually work, please tell me about them in the comments below. For now, thank you for watching this clip, make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and also see my full coverage of the iPad Air on the channel. Catch you later.